In this video, I'm going to show you how to extrude a spline, like this star shape that we see right here, along a path like this helix that we see right here. In order to create, uh, in this case, I've created uh, the icing for the top of a cupcake. We're going to create a, a simpler uh, object than this, but the uh, same principle will allow you to uh, create a shape like this icing. Start by creating a new scene. In your scene, take your freehand spline tool and just draw out a simple uh, curve or a squiggle. It doesn't really uh, matter too much what it is, just give it a, a bit of shape. What we're now going to do is take a curve and extrude it along this spline, or uh, it's also known as sweeping it. Go ahead and create a, let's start with a circle spline. So this is the shape that we're going to be extruding along this path. So we're basically going to be building a bent tube. And let's adjust the radius of this circle so that the circle we're moving along the path is smaller. So I'm going to decrease the radius from 200 down to something like 50. And I'm just doing that by selecting my circle and adjusting the settings in my attributes manager under the object tab. Go ahead and add what's called a sweep nerves object to your scene. The sweep nerves object again allows you to extrude a shape along a path. And the way that it works is this. Uh, you add your sweep nerves and then it takes two objects as an input. It takes a path spline. So in the, our case it's this spline. And then it takes a profile spline. So or a cross section that it's going to take along the path. So drag your spline into your sweep nerves and then drag in your circle. And the order always goes path and then profile when you're dragging it in. Or when you look at it in the objects manager, your path is at the bottom and your profile is at the top. If you drag these in in the wrong order, you might get something that looks like this. It's very confusing. And what's happening here is that squiggle is being extruded along this circle. You still have access to all of the same cap and rounding settings that you have with all of your other extrusions. Uh, but a, an option that is uh, very specific, or perhaps not specific, but useful to the sweep nerves object is your ability to adjust the end scale. So you can adjust whether your object comes to a point at the end by adjusting that end scale setting. And if you adjust the end growth, you can adjust whether or not your object is uh, growing. So you can use this to create uh, traced curves or in a scene like this with our icing we could use it to uh, make it look like our icing was actually being applied over the course of an animation. Again that's a very brief introduction to using the sweep nerves object.